Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm shooting this quick video to let you know what I think you should do if you're having some drivability issues and you have a check engine light lit on your car. Your car, um, normally cars built after 85, are designed to warn and let you know what's wrong with the car. I get people contact me all the time. Hey Robert, my car's not running right. What's wrong with it? Man, there is no way I can tell you that. I don't have a crystal ball. Oftentimes, I don't even know what kind of car they're driving. Nonetheless, they probably have a check engine light lit and they need to get their car scanned for codes so that they can find out what is actually wrong with your vehicle. If your car is not running right or something's wrong with it and it won't start, the first thing you want to do is turn your key on, make sure you have a check engine light that works, start the car, see if that check engine light is on. If that light is on, you need to go somewhere and have that vehicle scanned and see what kind of problems show up in that check engine light. That is trying to tell you what is wrong with your car. Contacting me without that information is probably just going to delay and waste your time. So if you send me a message, one of my first questions are going to be, is your check engine light lit? If you say no, I'm going to ask, is your check engine light working? If you say you don't know, you got to put your key in there, turn it, check it. If the check engine light's lit with the car running, you need to get somewhere and get those codes scanned. Or get yourself a code reader, scan those codes. When you get those codes, you can ask me what they mean. Or you can Google those codes against your car and find out what those codes stand for so that you can try to figure out how to get your vehicle fixed. Again, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you a lot of things about all these different vehicles. I do work on and drive Volvos. That's what my specialty is. However, I do have a lot of knowledge about other vehicles. Google it, see what the code means, try to find out a resolution. There's a lot of special forms for specific vehicles that'll show you how to fix those things. You can look it up or you can send me a message, wait till I find that message, and then have me search it out for you and relay that information to you. Just be quicker if you did it yourself. Now, if you got a Volvo or some other vehicles that I have done work on in the past and possibly fixed, you can go to my YouTube channel, you can hit the search button on my channel, search that code and see what the resolution is to fix it. If I've done it before or I know how to do it, I likely have step-by-step -step detailed instructions showing you how to fix it. I try to make my videos so basic that a 14-year-old can use basic common tools and fix the problems. So if you're older than 14 years old, you can likely actually do this yourself. Some people watch the videos four, five, ten times until they feel confident enough to do it themselves. Again, I try to make these videos so that you can do it yourself if at all possible. If all else fails, go ahead and contact me. When I get the message, I'll respond. But do understand that there is a chance that you have a vehicle that I have not worked on. And my question really sincerely will probably be I simply don't know. That is an acceptable answer if I don't know. I'm sure you don't want me to lie to you or send you on some rabbit chase. Sometimes I just don't know. If I do know, I'll be glad to tell you or link you to the video that will help you. So if you need help, feel free to contact me. I will get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, 
please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.